Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So I'm here with another Stitch Fix unboxing and try on. So this is for September 2020, it's the start of September. I've just received my Stitch Fix box and this box is a little bit of a transition for me. So I've asked if this time we can go from summer items to more kind of autumn -y, kind of transitional type pieces. So we'll see what they picked out. Now, if you're new to Stitch Fix, I'm gonna explain a little bit more about what it is and how it works. If you're not new to Stitch Fix and you just wanna see what they've sent me and see me try on the clothes, I'll put a timestamp here and you can jump straight to that part. So if you're new to Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix is an online personal shopper in a box. You go online, you sign up for an account, and if you're new to Stitch Fix, you can get £15 credit on your first box. I'll put a link on the, under the video so you can get the £15 off your first box. And what you do is you fill out a profile explaining about you, your likes and dislikes when it comes to clothes, as much detail as you can possibly put down there. Of course, the more detail, uh, the more chance you've got of them picking items you're really gonna love. And um, you also tell them how much you're willing to spend in each category. You tell them if you're shopping for anything specific. And every month you can kind of leave a comment for your stylist and say, right, okay, I'm going to a wedding, I need an outfit for that, or I need some clothes to wear going back into the office, or whatever it is you might be after. You can write a little message to your stylist, and then your stylist will get all of this information and will pick some items for you from the information you provide. They also have um, a little bit of a, almost like an online dating thing for clothes where you can go on the app or the website every day and thumbs up or thumbs down different outfits, different clothing items, and then the kind of algorithm behind the website gets an idea of what you do and you don't like. And again, helps to suggest things to your stylist that you may like. You can also do things like add a link to a Pinterest board, which is something I do because it really gives your stylist a clue of what it is you're looking for because you might ask for something, they might misunderstand it if you're just using a few words. But if you've got a few pictures, I think it kind of helps guide them down the right sort of path. So I will link my Pinterest board under the video as well if you do want to see which um, kind of pictures I included this month to kind of guide my stylist towards the sort of items I was looking for. In terms of items that your stylist will pick for you, Stitch Fix um, have things like accessories, shoes, all different types of clothes from all different well-known and less well-known brands. Obviously it's guided by how much you are telling them you want them to spend in each category. In terms of actually paying for it, you pay a £10 styling fee, but that will be free if you use my link and you'll get that credited to you as well. But under normal circumstances, if it's not your first box, you would pay £10 for the box, which is your styling charge. If you keep anything, the £10 redeemable on anything you keep from the box. They pick five different items for you, whether that be clothing, accessories, shoes. Again, if you don't want shoes or you don't want accessories, you just tell them that and then they won't send you things you don't want. But you get the five items, you try them on in the comfort of your own home, you decide if you want to keep anything, you just go online then and complete what they call a checkout process saying, I want to keep this, I want to send this back. And then anything you don't want gets packaged back into your box. You stick on a prepaid label that's sent inside the box, send it off back, just pay for what you keep. And if you've used a link like mine and you've got the credit off, then they will deduct the £15 from your total as well. Now, if you happen to keep all five items, so if you love all the items in your box and you want to keep them all, you actually get a 20% discount off all of the items. So that represents even more of a saving because it generally means you're going to get at least one of the items for free if you're getting 20% off everything. So that can be quite an exciting aspect of this as well. And of course, at the moment, we can go back into shops, but you're having to wear face coverings and... I personally don't really want to be doing any shopping that isn't 100% necessary so this is definitely my kind of preferred way to choose clothes and actually I have found through this box and also Lakira which is a similar box that I also use that I found lots of things that I wouldn't have picked for myself that I love. This dress came from either a Stitch Fix or a Lakira box, I can't remember which one it was now but I love it, I wear it all the time and I would never have picked it up off the shelf in a shop necessarily but getting it in the box and trying it on yeah I've been pretty impressed so as I said I was after transition pieces and the comment I left for my stylist I put 
I would like some season transition type pieces, ideally a button down oversized yet stylish cardigan, some mid block black heels or similar, some chinos or similar trousers and anything else my stylist would pick for me to wear in September slash October weather. If she can put together a complete outfit for me, even better. These are the styles I like and I included the transition pieces Pinterest board and then I've put my favourite colours to wear, a navy, olive green and red. So let's see what's in this month's box. I will say as well, this month I actually upped the amount that I would normally spend on knitwear and trousers because I'm now at the point where I'm thinking instead of just getting a load of kind of low price stuff, I'd rather just get a few pieces that I love and that I will wear and treasure for a long time made out of nice quality materials and things. So this box will probably be a little bit more expensive than the other ones I've unboxed, but hopefully there'll be a few nice pieces to kind of compensate for that. We'll see. I'm kind of hoping I don't like them all because it might be quite pricey if I do. If you do use my link under the video as well, I get £15 credit for referring you, so it really helps me when I'm making these videos and makes me feel a little bit less guilty about spending so much money on clothes and things. Um, so every month, as well as getting your kind of returns label, you also get a little note from your stylist telling you why they've picked what they've picked and what they think will work together. You also get an invoice that tells you the brand, the size, the colour and the price of each item. It also tells you how much of a discount you'll get if you keep all of the items. Like I said, it's 20%, but it tells you what that equates to. It tells you your styling charge deduction or your credit deduction and it gives you an order total and then you know kind of how much everything is going to cost you. So let's start pulling these items out one by one and I will try them all on for you. Okay, so I like the print of this. So I've just pulled this out of the box. It's by Sugar Hill Brighton. I actually got a top from Sugar Hill Brighton in a previous Stitch Fix box that I like. It is a shirt dress. It's going to struggle to see it, I think, here, but you'll see it better when I put it on. It's got buttons literally all the way down the dress, like a really, really long shirt. Kind of looks like it will hit just below my knees on me maybe like a midi type style which is not a bad thing actually because it's a good option for maybe the transitional season i'm kind of talking about um it's in a size eight it's 100 percent viscose and it is called the rever eye cat animal shirt dress in blue this retails at £65. Then I've got some chinos, which is exactly what I asked for. And these are really nice. This is the back. It's got these little kind of button details, three of them, and these little pockets at the back, which kind of feel like false pockets, but you can probably undo them if you want to undo the stitching. Two pockets here at the front, and then little felt loopy things again. And these are mint velvet. I love mint velvet. Something else I think I discovered through this box. So they've got little turn ups at the bottom so you can kind of adjust them if necessary. The navy, which I love, they feel amazing. Navy is one of my favourite kind of colours to wear and it matches up with a lot of other things I have in my wardrobe. These are size 8 regular. They are 97% cotton, 3% elasticine, is it? And um, so they'll be kind of stretchy too. These are £69, but uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll be worth that. We'll see. And they are the ink button detail chino, and like I said, they're in a navy colour. So I have been after the perfect pair of chinos to wear this time of year. So we shall see. Then I've got, oh, a shirt. Okay. So this is a dot print shirt. Now I love polka dot prints. I actually have one very similar that's just developed a hole in it. So maybe this could be a replacement. This material feels amazing. It's so lightweight. It's really, really quite long. I'm not sure what I think about that, but it's super lightweight. It's actually just got a V cut into it as well. So it's not like a button down or anything, but it feels really, really lightweight. Considering how long it is, you'd think it'd be heavy. It's really, really light. And it's made from viscose and polyamide. 
it's a mint velvet one it's a size small and let's see how much it is if it's mint velvet um ooh, 69 pounds spot print oversized shirt so it's supposed to be an oversized shirt <sighs> i shall see oh then we've got something that definitely looks a bit more autumnal okay so this is a really heavy item and this is a jumper it's in this gorgeous kind of olivey green colour almost. I love green. <laughs> if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know I enjoy this kind of colour. So yeah, I love I love the design of this. It's just a really heavy knit, chunky jumper. I quite like autumn, so this is my kind of item. Um, so this is by a brand called Modstrom think is a German brand. It sounds German, let's have a see. Okay, this is 100% cotton. I said it's super heavy. It's a size small. So it's called the Etta O Neck and it is £89. I did say I was happy to spend a little bit more on knitwear. We shall see. And then finally, it looks like we've got an accessory, hopefully some shoes. Yep, it's in a bag like this, it's generally it's shoes, so yep, it's shoes. Okay, so these are like a chunky, oh a little bit higher than I would normally go for. I like the colour though, the colour is lovely and it feels almost a bit suede -y. So they're like a chunky court shoe really. Mm, they're nice, they'll probably go with some of the items. Some here as well maybe they'll go together we shall see heels are 48 pounds so let's see what the stylist says so the stylist says hello crystal it's great to have you back with me for another fix i'm so glad you enjoyed the pieces in your last box with that said i have taken on your feedback and included some great options for your autumn wardrobe as you requested a pair of chinos try on the mint velvet option in a staple navy these are perfect for everyday wear and will look great styled with a polka dot oversized shirt I chose the shirt as your Pinterest features a lot of layered looks, so I thought you could pop the Modstrom Olive Chunky Jumper over the top for the colder seasons. I'm still looking for the right cardigan for you. Okay. Lastly, I didn't have a pair of mid-height black heels in your size, but I've included the Vero Moda Burgundy Pumps as an alternative. These have a cushioned sole and are great for adding a pop of, of colour. Best Holly. And then you also get these little style cards and they show you the item in two different ways to wear it. Usually like um, a smart and a kind of casual look. Shoes don't have that option on there. They're just, um, it's just for the other clothing items, but you can just see there's a few different ways you can style the different items. So of course, like the jumper, you can just throw on with jeans or over a dress. Um, or over a shirt in this case and the dress it looks like you can wear with like pumps or heels so hopefully a few different ways to wear them let's get trying those clothes on so this is the shirt dress it's nicely on the arms as well and i've just tied this kind of waist thing that comes with it it gives it a little bit more definition with it being a little bit longer which is good because i was a little bit concerned sometimes when it's too long it gets a little bit shapeless so i have actually just put this on with my little um super guard trainers i got these in a previous stitch fix box this is just for more of a kind of day look really i'll just tilt down a little bit more so yeah this is a bit more of a just like a um daytime look and then I'm going to pair it with the heels and then we can see uh, how it works with the heels okay so I've got it on with the heels as the stylist suggested and actually I think she's right it really does add that little pop of colour and they are actually quite cushioned to be fair I was slightly concerned when I saw the height of these because um I you know I haven't worn heels for quite a while especially with lockdown and everything else and I was a little bit concerned with these height that I'd go flying downstairs or something um, but actually they are fairly comfortable for such a height and as usual I appreciate your comments what do we think of these items so far I really quite like this this print is definitely me and it's a really easy kind of throw on 
outfit all in one as dresses are um, but I do think I could kind of dress it up or down definitely think it's suitable for kind of going into the office the material feels lovely really easy to wear yeah I think this one will be a keeper so here is the shirt I quite like the kind of neck on it and the v-neck and it's got long sleeves but I've just just rolled up a little bit as they came really it is rather long it hits like there just underneath a little bit lower than my bottom actually um so it's not really something i would normally pick being so long but i do love the print and it does feel amazing it feels almost like a cotton silky type material so let me know what you think think about this one i paired it with the chinos which i love this is what they look like at the back and at the front it's quite a bit of room in these as well they're like um quite a large kind of fit but i like that if you sat down all day or what have you definitely uh, better to be a bit more comfortable isn't it and i've also paired the um the chinos with the heels i think these had a nice kind of pop of color as well so i definitely think the stylist has got it right i can totally see where she's coming from with this outfit um it definitely goes with the kind of things on my pinterest board the things i've said i like it's um definitely a good kind of replication if that's the right word um so that just leaves me now with the jumper to try on, which she suggested I try on over uh, this shirt. So I've just put the jumper over the top of the shirt. I've just kind of left the collar out just to sort of see what that looks like. But of course I could have it with the collar kind of tucked in a little bit, but I think it's probably gonna be better with the collar out tangled up with a tag there as well um so then i'll just show you what this looks like with the shirt so the shirt's obviously longer than the jumper so the shirt sticks out which is a little bit different i know but these sort of styles are exactly what i've been seeing on pinterest and thinking i really like i love the kind of jumper over shirt thing and hopefully i could pair this jumper with some other um, shirts and things i've already got in the wardrobe it's definitely nice and cozy not itchy at all um and i like the color so this is a hard one i'm really liking everything that came in this box yeah i'm impressed i think this is actually going to be my favorite kind of stitch fix box yet um i've still got the heels on as well with these chinos so i love it when i get items that can like be worn together so it's like i've just got a whole outfit including shoes there's no what we're going to wear this with what we're going to wear that with um so i really like that about this box as well that the items kind of work well together okay then so let's talk about this month's box what do you think let me know in the comments underneath what you think of the items if you think i should keep them i'll tell you now my kind of thoughts and we'll go through the prices and the invoice and all that kind of thing so the shoes which were the vera moda these were a size five and these are 48 pounds which is about right i've paid more i've paid less for shoes um, but I love the colour. They are very comfortable because they're cushioned. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are still heels. They're not, I'm not exactly going to be running around town in them. But I do like them. They, because I have a lot of navy and things and black, and I, I think they'll go with an awful lot. So at the moment, I'm thinking I'm going to be keeping these because I think I'll get a lot of wear out of them. And I think they'll go with a lot of things. So happy with those. And I was after um, more of a kind of mid chunky heel, but these are still almost there and i'm happy with them so i'll be keeping those my hunt for the perfect chinos it seems is finally over love these they are 69 pounds which is a lot but they feel lovely i like the fit of them they're fitted yet comfortable not like really tight or anything i like the pockets i just i like everything about them i like the color i like the fit i like everything i love that i can roll them up and down i think i could dress them up or down as well yeah like those they are going in the keepy pile um the shirt love the print 
love the feel it's super lightweight and comfy and soft it's just the length of it that i'm a bit like mm, do i don't i let me know what you think um i'm really kind of swaying towards keeping this I would never in a million years have walked into a high street shop, picked up this jumper at 90 pounds, tried it on and then gone, oh yeah, I'll have that. I just wouldn't have tried it on basically because of the price, but actually this is exactly what I think I need for the look that I want of kind of putting it over shirts and stuff like that. And for the perfect kind of transition piece that I can wear over things in the autumn, I can wear through the winter. I, I think I'm happy to spend that to have like the perfect kind of jumper let me know what you think um i mean i do think living in the north of england we get a heck of a lot more cold weather and winter than we do summer anyway so that's why i don't mind spending a little more on knitwear than i would on like um a dress or a sort of up top or what have you um that's another issue with this really it's 69 pounds all my own fault for uh upping the price on this month's box but actually i am pretty happy with everything that's in here um and then this dress which i love the print when i took it out of the box when i saw the length i was a bit not quite sure really like it really like it that's staying um there's a possibility this could be a five in five that's when you keep all five items just in case you're not sure so let's recap with the prices so we've got the mint velvet spot print oversized shirt white size small 69 pounds the mint velvet button detail chino navy size 8 69 pounds the vero mode sia pump in burgundy size 38 which is a size 5 and um, 48 pounds the modstrom etta o neck in olive size small 89 pounds the sugar hill brighton rather eye cat animal shirt dress in blue size 8 65 pounds so the total of all five of those items if i went and bought them individually from the shops or the high street would be 340 pounds so if i keep all five items and this is where it gets very tempting i'd save 20 percent, so i'd save 68 pounds which would mean i would get either the oversized shirt or the chinos for a pound or i'd get the pumps free or the dress free do you see i'm kind of justifying this to myself <laughs> tempting which would then bring the price from 340 pounds down to 272 pounds then um they deduct the 10 pound styling fee that i paid and any credit i've got on the account from you using my link i can also use um off this as well so let me know in the comments what do you think i should keep do you think i should keep it all i'm really leaning towards keeping it all i did like how it all looked uh, on together with the jumper over the shirt and the shoes and the trousers mm, i'm tempted i'm very tempted um let me know in the comments what you think will you be getting a stitch fix box um have you already tried stitch fix let me know in the comments underneath and like i said if you do want to sign up there's the link there where you can save 15 pounds on your first box or you get 15 pound credit if you keep any of the items then you get 15 pound knocked off it and if you don't like any of the items and you send them all back, you've not lost anything because you've not paid anything because you had a credit. So give it a try if you are interested. I also unbox Lakiro boxes, which are basically the same as Stitch Fix, but they are a European box with a lot more European type brands and more unusual items um, or brands and things in there. They run a similar thing and you can get 10% off that as well. I think you get a free styling charge as well with Lakiero, but I'll put uh, the information about Lakiero under this video and um, all the other kind of, um, well, some of the other <laughs> unboxings. I've done quite a few actually of Stitch Fix and Lakiero. I have actually got a Lakiero box coming in a few days as well. So if you like this kind of unboxing, definitely think about hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll get notified when that video goes up. So I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my unboxings. Bye guys.